Today, I'm gonna to tell you guys why I think so many people shouldn't be betting on NFL football and why it is the single most destructive force in most people's sports betting lives. So as many of you guys know, I have Masterclass, all right? Masterclass has thousands of members in it who pay every single month for education, for picks, for game breakdowns, et cetera, et cetera. And during uh, the course of the year, we have a lot of people join and we have people cancel for various different reasons, okay? Now, the funny thing about cancellations is we track all the cancellations and we can see exactly when people cancel and sometimes people want to give us a reason why they cancel and moving to a state where there's no betting or they're being deployed overseas or outright like today where some people literally just said I blew my bankroll up and that happens okay um I'd be lying if I said that I never did it from you know my youth I did it many times many 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 times before I learned my lesson and said stop doing that right um here is the very very interesting part of why I say that people shouldn't be betting on NFL. A lot of people shouldn't be betting on NFL. Okay. We track different cancellations and I track the dates. Okay. I look at Monday through Sunday. When are the cancellations coming in and is there any like correlation between it? Okay. Well, here's something really interesting from March until August. Okay. March, April, May, June, July, August for that six month stretch. On Sundays, on average, we see an 18% increase in cancellations versus normal days, okay? On Mondays, minus 6%, all right? So there's actually a little bit more cancellations on Sundays and a little bit less cancellation on Mondays. And I think that could be attributed to simply on Sundays, you know, it's the end of the week and people think, okay, well, what do I got going on next week? Okay, I got to better take care of this, 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 and this. And then on Mondays, you know, either people are too busy uh, to cancel their membership or they just ultimately decide, hey, you know, it's a new week. Uh, I'm going to throw myself into it, whatever the case may be. It's a very small thing, an 18% increase on Sundays and a 6% decrease on Mondays. Now, during football season, okay, during football season, on Sunday nights, we see a 430% increase in cancellations. 430% increase over normal. Now we have a very low cancellation rate, but still, it doesn't take much to skew that number to just have a bunch of cancellations come in and now you say 430% increase. That is big. It doesn't take a lot of cancellations to skew it, but it goes from 18% increase in cancellations for you know the whole year when football is not on. And then when football season's on, on Sundays, cancellations go up 430%. Now I said during the rest of the year on Monday, cancellations were down 6%, okay? So less people canceled. On Mondays during football season, a 290% increase in cancellations. So the message is very, very clear here, guys, okay? Um, and the funny thing is, okay, so before someone says, well, I guess, you know, your picks must be shit, right? Before someone jumps in and says that, um, yesterday, for example, we had an 18% ROI, okay? An 18% return on our picks in one day. All right, um, 5% is elite level, okay? Last year, we absolutely crushed NFL and college football, having one of our best years in forever, okay? Um, still see these increases, why? Because people blow their bankrolls up on NFL. There is no other sport that exists out there in the world, not basketball, not hockey, nothing else where people will literally implode on themselves in the course of a day. And how well is it designed to have you do that? Okay, you got the one o'clock games and people, you know, I do good. Maybe I'll try to double it up in the four o'clock games. Oh, well, it's gone. I better get back in the eight o'clock game. Now my whole bankroll is gone. Or the more common, it didn't work out at 1 p.m. Let's double up at 4 p.m. Oh, it went really bad. Let's put the rest of it on, you know, Sunday, and then how well is that designed by Vegas? And then the last little loop in the hangman's noose, they throw a game at you on Monday. And believe me, guys, I'm, I'm telling you this is a reality, okay? Because I see it more than anything else. The peak times, and we go and have a look at this and see when the cancellations come in. Never, never do we get a cancellation Sunday morning, never. Okay, never do we get one midday, okay? At 8.30, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, midnight, 
these cancellations start coming in. Same thing on Mondays, okay? As soon as that game ends, okay? We get them in the morning, people waking up and saying, oh my God, what did I do last night in NFL? Um, don't need this anymore. Can't pay 99 bucks because my bankroll is gone, okay? Um, but same thing. Get to like, you know, 1, 2 p.m., nothing. No cancellations. Almost never, okay? Then, you know, Monday Night Football ends. Doesn't matter. We could win a three-unit play. We could win three three-unit plays on the Monday Night game. It will not matter we will still get cancellations come in right after the game because people cannot control themselves when it comes to NFL. And Vegas and the way that NFL is set up, it is conducive to allowing you to hang yourself and blow your entire bankroll up. The structure of the 1, 4, and 8 p.m. games, you get the day games, afternoon, Sunday night games. And if you do not practice perfect bankroll management, bad shit can happen. And then guess what? How many people, how many people who blow up, you know, 60% of their bankroll on Sunday. How many people will then turn around on the Monday night game and say, yeah, you know what? I think I'll just bet 1%. I'll go back, I'll do proper bankroll management. You're not gonna do that. You know what you're gonna do? We all know what you're gonna do because I've done it. I did it back in the day when I was making all the worst mistakes anyone can make. You're gonna torpedo every last dollar you have at that game. In some cases, you don't even have an opinion on the game. You don't know there's value. You're hoping, you're praying, you're flipping the coin, you're playing the lottery, you're trying to get your blood pressure going. All that shit, guys, and it's wrong, okay? And then that's why I say that if you cannot control yourself betting NFL, find a different hobby, okay? Because the fact that we see a 430% increase on Sunday cancellations during NFL season and a 290% increase on Monday cancellations has to do with the lack of control people have with betting NFL, all right? Now we've managed over the last couple of years to grow from a few hundred members to a thousand members to now thousands of members in Masterclass. So I invite you to Masterclass, obviously guys, benderwins.com. I try to teach people the right way to do things, okay? To practice bankroll management, to focus on the long term and to make money over the long period of time, okay? In sports betting, you can return astronomical amounts, okay? Way more than you could ever dream of in the stock market. Way more than you could ever dream of by investing in many different things, but you need to be disciplined. All right, guys, best of luck. Be very careful in the NFL. We'll see you soon.